this. <laughs> Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, then hi. Um, yeah, subscribe if you want to subscribe if you haven't already. Give the video a thumbs up if you enjoy it. So today's video is a glute workout. It's by far been like the most like highly request thing since I started making these videos. Um, if you don't follow me on Instagram, then you won't know. Like I've posted quite a lot of like transformation pictures. I love glute training. Like I'm just. I love glutes, got a passion for it. Um, so yeah, I'm not a qualified personal trainer, but I do actually just have a shit ton of experience in building my glutes. I'm not someone, I'm gonna put some pictures in, but you'll be able to tell I'm not someone who naturally has decent, even decent glutes. And so like, it's taken me work. Um, but yeah, like I said, I'm not qualified. So all the footage and stuff has been looked over by a personal trainer cause I don't want anyone breaking spines. You know, I don't want anyone getting hurt. I don't want anyone coming for me and saying, this is wrong. <laughs> so I got it all checked. Steve gave it the okay. Thanks, Steve. Um, just a little bit of background. I went into this in detail when I've tried to film it before, but it's too long. So I'm just gonna like quickly scout over it and then jump straight into the workout. So um, I use a lot of Brett Contreras' work. I use his rule of thirds when I'm planning my like glute workouts for the week, if I sit down and plan them all. Like I've, I've always got it in the back of my head um, when I'm thinking about what I'm gonna do each glute workout kind of thing. And what this does is it just makes sure that you're hitting the glutes from every angle. So I have structured this workout using the rule of thirds to make sure that you're hitting the glutes from all angles and just getting like well-rounded batty. If anyone else says bye, let me know. I do. So yeah, if people want like a more in-depth explanation of that, then let me know. But like, yeah. I was just filming for demonstration purposes. So the weights I'm using and stuff like, this is a lot lighter than I would normally use. If you're just starting out, you might need to start out even lighter than this or um, heavier than this if you've been training for a while. Like just use weights relative to you. And the same goes with the sets and reps. I'm gonna give like recommended, like the ones that I've been doing, cause I've been doing, this is my Sunday session for the past couple of weeks now. Um, so I'm gonna give like recommended, but you can obviously alter it to adjust, alter it to adjust. You can obviously alter it to fit like your volume and um, capabilities, levels, fitness levels and stuff. Um, so yeah, first thing that I do is a warm up. Um, like I said, I forgot to do this in the footage, so I'll just like quickly give you some examples of stuff that I do. So it's like glute activation, which is basically activating the glutes. You don't want to exhaust them because you don't want to be so tired from the warm up that you can't properly do the rest of the workout kind of thing. So I normally just do two sets of like 10 to 12 reps or something of like body weight squats, body weight lunges. I'll sometimes do a little bit of band work, but normally, honestly, just bodyweight squats and bodyweight lunges. Um, you should always, I mean, it goes without saying, you should obviously always warm up before you do a workout. So going into the workout, like I said, I use the rule of thirds. So I've got two vertically loaded exercises, which use more lower glute max fibers um, than upper glute max fibers. I've got two horizontally loaded exercises, which target both the upper and the lower glute max. And then I've got some lateral slash rotary. I hate saying those, but I feel like I can't say them properly. Um, those ones, which is basically like hip abduction work, which uses your glute medius. Um, a lot of people refer to this as a side booty. I know that Brett himself doesn't. I'm, he's done a whole post on this. I'm gonna like leave it here or something. Yeah, he says it's more upper outer of your glute rather than the side booty as people often refer to it obviously again everyone seems to have different views on that but i'm just going with what brett says because any abduction work that i've done has definitely helped to build the upper portion of my glutes like the shelf area don't get me wrong it's a small shelf but a shelf is a shelf but the first exercise is sumo deadlifts and for this I've been doing four sets of eight to ten reps uh, depending on the weight. I normally up the weight 
as much as I can and get like eight reps with good form. So the form with this, you wanna be in a wide stance. It's a lot wider than a conventional deadlift, you'll be able to see. Um, your feet should be externally rotated, which basically just means your toes need to be pointing outwards. You should keep your spine neutral at all times. This goes with pretty much all exercises. Please keep your spine neutral. I don't want anyone breaking a back. Um, keep your chest up. So what I find if you if you struggle to keep your chest up, I just try and like roll my not roll my shoulders back, but keep my shoulders pinned back as much as I can when I'm going down to grab the bar. So when you're down to grab the bar, what I like to do is focus on uh, pushing through the floor rather than pulling. You are pulling the bar up, but when I do that, I find that my hips shoot up before the bar leaves the floor, um, which means I just I don't feel it in my glutes as much. So. I, I would say focus on pushing through the floor as you go to lift the bar and then obviously when you get to the top lock out at the top like squeeze your glutes but don't there's no need to like don't hyper extend I've been doing like I said four sets of eight to ten reps with my sumo deadlifts and that is a vertically loaded exercise according to Brett the next exercise is hip thrusts I've been doing five sets of a in this particular workout um it's been really hard to show you the I've, i'm still going to insert the clip but it's very hard to show the form of hip thrusts because the plate is hiding all the form yeah i'm going to put like a helpful infographic which kind of just explains good form and bad form because i think that's sometimes more helpful but yeah as you can see i use an incline bench for my hip thrusts and that's just because the normal benches, in my opinion, especially for someone of my height, I'm five foot six, seven. Um, the normal benches are way too high. I find it painful and awkward and uncomfortable. So I use an incline bench. But the main pointers for this are your feet should be, I use mine just past shoulder width apart, um, slightly pointed outwards. So again, externally rotated. When I'm at full extension, there should be a 90 degree angle near my shins. I keep my lower back neutral. So again, not hyper extending when you're at the top. And what helps to stop doing this is if you keep your chin tucked rather than it being like this when you thrust. This is so unflattering. Rather than being like this, you know, like this. <laughs> um, but yeah, that just helps to keep you like everything neutral. And honestly, it, I just feel it in my glutes so much more when I keep my chin tucked and just stay forwards and squeeze them glutes at the top. Um, so yeah, five sets of eight is what I've been doing on those. Um, and that is a horizontal exercise, so that's upper and lower glute max. The next exercise is goblet squats and I've been doing four sets of 10 in this particular workout of these. Um, so what I've found with goblet squats is it, it seems to be quite individual person to person when it comes to like foot positioning and stance and stuff like people feel it in the glutes differently but I'll just run through what I like to do so I like to keep my feet it's not like a sumo stance or anything I'd say it's quite like a neutral stance it's not narrow and it's not crazy wide um again with with squats and stuff again same as deadlifts keep the spine neutral at all times ever um so yeah, just keeping your spine neutral and stuff on the way down. Um, elbows should be tucked in between your knees. Go down as low as you can without like hurting yourself. Everyone will have different like flexibility and mobility and stuff. Um, so go down as low as you can without hurting yourself, ideally parallel or below. And as I go down, I push my knees outwards like my elbow and when I get to the bottom because my elbows are inside my knees they kind of push my knees outwards if that makes sense I find that that's how I feel them in my glutes other people love a sumo stance goblet squat but that just doesn't work for me this is the way that I find that I feel it in my glutes the most and again the elbows inside and pushing your knees out as you go down is something that I learned from Brett so thanks yeah so the goblet squats are vertically are part of the vertical third according to Brett's rule of thirds um, so that's more lower than upper. Um, the 
up. The next exercise is cable pull throughs. I've been doing three sets of 15 in this particular workout. As you can see, like I do like do different rep ranges in a workout. That's just how I like to do things. Um, I always leave my cable pull throughs until the end. I find if I do them early, I don't feel them in my glutes as much. I need my glutes to already be like pumped and warmed up. My tips for cable pull throughs are I'm reading this off my phone because I've got some notes on my, on my phone. So you want to sit back with your hips with a slight bend in the knees, nothing crazy. I know that some people do it really bent, but I personally don't. I find that that just, I don't feel it in my glutes at all. Um, so a slight bend in the knees and you go down until you feel like a stretch in your hamstrings, which is the back of your leg basically. Um, when you're on the way up, you should drive your hips forward don't pull the rope that i use the rope attachment don't pull it with your arms drive it forward using your glutes um and at the top you just want to lock out and squeeze but again same as everything else don't hyper extend so don't proper like go like this with like you st like don't be like you know i it's so hard to show I like to keep my chin tucked. I never used to feel these in my glutes until I saw someone on Instagram and they were like, oh, I've been told to keep my chin tucked to try and work my glutes more. And this works so much better for me. So I keep my chin tucked throughout the movement and there's therefore a slight rounding in my, in my upper back, but it's nothing crazy. Like I'm not gonna hurt myself. Like don't, you don't wanna be like this. It's more like a natural round. It's not forced, it's just rounded because my chin's tucked. If you struggle to feel cable pull throughs in your glutes, maybe try keeping your chin tucked because that's what I find really helpful. Um, so yeah, three sets of 15 on that and that is like the hip thrust, a horizontally loaded exercise. So that's both your upper and lower glute max. Then we are on to the last part of the workout, which is some lateral rotary work um so i love using the seated abduction machine i tried to film a clip of this and i just like i couldn't get the right angle like it was just so hard to see what i was doing so i'm gonna insert a clip of um i'll probably i think lucy davis uploaded a video doing it the other day so i'm gonna insert a clip of that again with seated abduction i tend to find that everyone seems to do it differently to feel it in their glutes me personally i lean forward hold on to the machine like Lucy is doing and I'm slightly off the seat but not like crazy off the seat. Some people just sit on the edge of the seat, some people come a little bit off it. Just play around with it and see what you feel more in your glutes. Um, but yes, I lean forward and two to three sets depending on how much I can be asked to do of 10, 10, 10. So I'll do 10 reps on a heavy weight, 10 reps on a medium weight and 10 reps on a light weight rest and then I'll do two sets or three sets of that um, and that works Euclid Medius like I said the upper outer booty not the side booty according to Brett but then I do some band work at the end this is quite like controversial some people are like it's pointless other people are like I love it Brett loves it so I love it um, and it's not like the whole workout has just been like half arse like this is a solidly hard workout to do so nothing wrong with doing a bit of band work at the end i like doing it so i'm going to keep doing it i don't care whether it works or not i enjoy doing it um so yeah it just basically it's continuous so oh, there's loads of different variations of this but one of my favorite ones to do is a lateral band walk so the band is around your knees and you're walking side to side. You want to, with all these, keep the tension um, throughout the movement. So don't bring your legs like straight next to each other. Keep the tension in the band. So yeah, 40 reps of those and then get into a glute bridge position and 20 abductions at the top. Same again, keeping the tension on the band so you're not going all the way back in and then drop to the bottom position of a glute bridge and do 20 abductions there um and i'll normally do that like twice sometimes three times if i'm feeling like but normally just like twice and 
I like doing that again it's just a bit more hip abduction work so that is the full workout um i hope this was helpful i feel like i'm really bad at explaining stuff so if things aren't well explained i may pop in some form notes over the clips so that you've got like the full tips and stuff um but yeah thank you so much for watching i hope this was helpful if people try it out like if you give it a go let me know how it goes because i'm intrigued to know it's not that like wacky and like oh my god that's so different but it's something that actually works it's got like structure to it there's a reason behind the exercises i've included um so yeah definitely let me know if you give it a try if you want to see more fitness content and workouts let me know because now i've taken my camera into the gym once i'm like i'm gonna do it again um yeah subscribe if you haven't already give the video a thumbs up if you enjoy it follow me on instagram if you're not already um let me know if you want to see if you want some more glute videos if you want the rule of thirds in more depth anything about glutes if you want it i'll do it i love them um but yeah thank you so much for watching see you later oh and also thanks steve for um vetting the footage of the workout and stuff i am gonna leave his instagram down below so you can go follow him and if you're in newcastle and need a pt then go to steve thanks <laughs>